perimeter. Oh, okay. Jimmy Cop, too. LAPD. He's retired now. Somebody left the room. Somebody had opportunity. They left the room. They fired what appears to be a 38 or a 39 caliber weapon. We found this, ladies and gentlemen. This is proof we are dealing with organized crime. Mr. Lowry, yes. you were at LAPD. Yes. You are retired now? Oh. I gotta call you back for active duty tonight. We need your help in solving this crime, and the city of LAPD are having some wine and cheese taking the ceremony somewhere. Anything you need. I appreciate it, sir. <laughs> Did you know today, baby? Me? You didn't know me, you didn't get a good look at it. So how do you know you didn't know me? <laughs> I get your door! I get ah! Can you account for your whereabouts if you were shot? I need one. I need a lawyer, I need a lawyer. 30 more gets around. Keep your mouth shut, dude! Keep your mouth shut, dude! See this? Somebody was pretty stoned when they did this. Gone and taken, not forgotten, forever forsaken, ambition rotten, a pool of light now. Shines on your dark soul. Pay up or else. Elaine is my twin sister. She owed you money? Lots of money. Elaine? Yes. Uh, the Parks and Recreation owed you money? Yes. How but much? How much money did she owe you? About 50000 Hey, where were you at 10 minutes to 7, by the way? To 7. Well, all of us were in here enjoying the wine. Enjoying Barbara Williamson. Mm -hmm. You were out there. Right out there. Yeah. I saw the whole thing. I saw her get shot. I didn't see who shot her. And much like her husband, you did not react. You didn't go running and screaming in, saying, Ow! <laughs> My sister. She deserves it. It's dated September 17, 1991. That's that this day, day, 19 years ago. And the headline reads, The Eyes of the Lord. Well, that's what she said. This is DNA evidence. DNA, do not adjust. <laughs> DNA evidence puts away a Hollywood slasher. Jim? You were a cop back then. Do you remember this case? Yes. <laughs> what do you think this is? Well, I put the guy away on that day. I was working detectives in Hollywood. You were on the case? Yeah. I imagine there's someone in this audience that has a grudge against somebody in this audience. I happen to notice this piece of paper on the table. It's a handwritten note. Could you read the note nice and loud? Nice try, Sharpo Shooter. I will now need another $25,000. The livers in this time of day? Daddy died in jail. Water. Where? Next to Lester. Where? Don't hurt him. 
Somebody give me a napkin. I know of only one poison that works that fast. It's completely odorless, colorless, tasteless, like this guy. Unless I miss my guess, we're talking about pesticide poison. What do we have for evidence? A quill marked for organized crime. A cut and paste note. Gone and taken, not forgotten. Forever forsaken, ambition rotten. A pool of light now shines on your dark soul. Say it for us. A handwritten note. Nice trial charcoal shooter. I, sh I will now need another $25,000. Daddy died in jail. There's something else. Would you say that this handwriting is the same? Definitely the same. That was said right here by Sex in the City. <laughs> Why is this newsarchive.com headline here tonight? 19 years to the day after the DNA evidence put away the Hollywood slasher. Who killed the name Freeman and why? I couldn't find one real connection to Elaine to this case, to all the evidence. And that tells me that she was not the intended victim of that shooting. But who was standing next to her at the time of the shooting? Harmony. You know who was out of the room? At the time of the shooting, Detective Lowry, where are you? Jim, you had opportunity when you left, right before Lane was shot, and then when the lineup was here, who handed the water to Harmony? <laughs> it was you. You played in the bloody club back in 1991 that put away the Hollywood slasher. My whole life has been practically destroyed because of this officer. He planted evidence, and that's where Mark Furman ended up taking after him. He is the cause of all evil. So can we get a big boo to him? Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to give you a warning this time. But no one's killing Jim. Oh, not tonight. <laughs> Jim Lowry, ladies and gentlemen.